filters and how you can use them to sharpen your photos. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, you're watching another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, a few weeks ago on Exploring Photography, I created this image. It was to show you all about the different levels of black in an image, and we ran out of time. I wasn't able to do everything I wanted to do with the image, specifically the stuff in Photoshop. And so that's what we're going to do in this episode because a lot of people said, why didn't you finish it? Show us what you want to do in Photoshop. So the stuff we're going to do in Photoshop really has to do with something called a high pass filter and it helps us really bring out all of the different details in an image and it's my favorite way to sharpen an image and it's sort of like sculpting that image, giving it form and depth. It's really awesome. It's really, really subtle though and so the issue is trying to do this in video, you might not be able to see all of the results as I see them. And so here are the suggestions I have for you. Try to watch this in full HD so you see all the details and then if you've got Photoshop, try this out on your own and you can clearly see that it really makes that photo pop and so you'll see it just like, oh my gosh, that really works. And so uh, don't take my word for it, try it out for yourself. But without further ado, let's not waste any more time, let's hop over into Photoshop and I'll show you how this works. Well, here's our image that we'll be working on. This is Lightroom that we're looking at right now, but I won't, don't want to be uh, retouching this in Lightroom. The things I'm going to show you right now, we're going to be doing in Photoshop. So what I'll do is I'll just right click, say edit in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now this could be CS4, 5, 6, Adobe CC, uh, Photoshop CC. It doesn't really matter. The stuff that I'm going to show you right now goes all the way back to the earlier versions of Photoshop. So it'll work with most versions uh, that are out there. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I want to make sure that I do this in a non-destructive format. So I'm going to take this background layer and immediately I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to rename that layer to Skin Retouch so I can remember exactly what each layer is. Now once I've done that, I'm going to take the normal healing brush, the spot healing brush, uh, not the healing brush tool, but the spot healing brush tool, and then I'll zoom in here and we'll use the navigator to get around. I want to fix some of these uh, beauty marks on uh, Carissa's skin, so I'm just going to go in here and very quickly, I'm just going to start touching these up, and uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time doing this. Um, I covered this uh, in great detail in another episode of Exploring Photography that I did a while back on skin retouching. So I'm just going to do a few of these, and again, if I had more time, we would really dig in and make sure this was absolutely perfect, but uh, for the demonstration purposes today, I'm just going to do a few of these um, just so you get an idea of what I would do. So normally I would spend a lot of time making sure that the skin was absolutely perfect and I'd fix up the eyes just a little bit here so we don't have any um, kind of darkness right here. We get all that done. So you get the idea. So I'd spend more time doing that. But once it's done, here are some things that I really like to do to my images to give them a lot of pop, especially something like this where we've got all these textures like these jeans here with all of the texture in the jeans. What I want to do is two things. I want to give it sort of a film look by adding some noise. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to uh, make it a little bit sharper, but I don't want to use the sharpening tool. We're going to use a different filter to do that. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to sharpen things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this skin retouch and I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'll make a copy. And what I'm going to call this is um, sharpen even though technically we're not sharpening this, we're adding a filter, but I'll just do that to keep things clear. So what we'll do here is we're gonna go up to filter, we're going to go to other, we're gonna add a high pass filter. So I'm gonna do this sort of uh, exaggerated at first so you get an idea, and then I'll dial it down to what I would normally do. So um, what you do here is uh, you can just take this radius and increase it until you see an outline of your subject. Now 8.7 is way too much, way, way, way too much. Normally I'd be down just so I can barely see an outline of my subject, somewhere maybe down in 1.2 range. Um, but so you can see this in a video, I'm going to crank this up to about 4 pixels. And again, that's too much, but just for our purposes today so you can see what's happening, I'll do that. And then I'm going to say OK. So now we have this sort of grayish thing right here. And then over here on our layers palette, we'll change that from normal to overlay, and then watch what happens when I turn this on and off. It goes from sort of dull to bam, really sharp. 
And I'm going to zoom in here 100% so you can see how I can turn this off, turn it on. That really adds a lot of clarity to the subject. So I'm going to get rid of this and we'll do it the right way. So again, I'm going to do a copy. And now that I have that, I'm going to call this high pass filter since we know what it is now, not sharpening. High pass filter. We'll do filter, other, high pass. Then I'm just going to dial this into about oh, 1.2, something like that. I just want to see the outline of eyes, nose, lips, something like that. So just very subtle. And so usually around one pixel or lower, maybe a little bit more is about where I end up being. So I'll say OK. Again, change this to overlay mode. And notice how that really makes things pop, makes things sharp, specifically in areas of where there's hair. You can see that hair really starting to stand out. And then where there's texture, so the jeans, notice how that starts to stand out. You might need to watch this video in full HD to get the effect because it's a very subtle effect. Once we have that, the other thing I like to do is give this sort of a film look by adding noise, but I want to add the noise in a way that I can control it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to Layer, New Layer, and when we do that, we get this little New Layer dialog box. And I'm going to call this Noise. I always like to name my layer so I know what I'm doing. And then I'm also going to say Mode is going to be an Overlay Mode. Because once I do that, I can click this box here that says Fill with Overlay Neutral Color 50% Gray. Now, as soon as I hit OK, you're not going to see any, any change at all. So I'll do that. It looks like we have this invisible layer, which is sort of what it is. It's a container for us to be able to do things. For example, we can add noise to that invisible layer, and it will actually show up. So if we didn't have that 50% neutral gray, it, we couldn't do that. So I'm going to now go in here and say Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And then we'll keep this to about 4%, something that's really, really small. And make sure it's monochromatic. And I'll use Gaussian for the effect there. So we don't want to get crazy here. We want to keep this down to about the 4% mode. And so I'll say OK. And now when we go and look at this at full screen, we can now see that we have this uh, noise overlay. And I like to apply noise to everything. I don't like to do it selectively. But some people do like to do it selectively. They like to take the noise off the lips and eyes and things like that. Well, doing it in this way, you can actually add a mask. And then in the mask, you can get just a normal brush. And then you can paint that noise on and off using a mask. And so maybe you don't want noise in the eyes. Maybe you don't want noise on the lips and defining lines, things like that. So a lot of retouchers will selectively apply noise. I like to put it everywhere because it looks like more like film grain. The other thing you can do here is you can take the opacity down. So you can just give a subtle effect. And that sort of helps to uh, smooth out our skin. So let's take a look. I'll turn off those three layers. That's where we started. It looks sort of dull, not very sharp. Doesn't have that film look. I'll turn on those three layers. And now look, we have something that is dramatically different. And so it's just a quick tip of using a fast skin retouch, a high pass filter, and then adding a layer, which allows you to control the noise on your portrait. All right, well, that's one of my favorite editing techniques, the high pass filter, adding that noise on that sort of transparent secret layer there. And make sure you always do your stuff uh, non-destructive. Add layers, make sure you label everything. Um, and that's how it works. Now remember, we don't do a lot of Photoshop uh, techniques here on Exploring Photography. I know Gavin Hoey does a ton, but if you want me to do more, just let me know. You can do that by commenting on the comment section right here below us if you're watching on YouTube, or just send me a note on Facebook or Twitter. Um, I'm always there to listen to what you have to say. Now speaking of that, don't forget that you should subscribe. You should subscribe, it's hard to say. You should subscribe to the Adorama YouTube channel so you don't miss anything from myself or all the other great presenters because we have a lot of good stuff here as well as over on the Adorama Learning Center where people like Mason Resnick are writing articles that are awesome. So check it out and don't miss a single thing and I'll catch you next time right here on Adorama TV. This week we'll dive into Photoshop and I'll show you how to use a high pass filter and an opacity <laughs> wrong. Well, let me tell you, well, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I hit puberty. <laughs>
Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? Visit our Learning Center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.